Praise the Lord. So David, unlike King Solomon, uh, King, King Saul, knew how to stand up and be strong in the Lord. Amen? All right? Let's take, let's take a look at another. We've got a few more. Praise the Lord. All right? Unlike, unlike Solomon, who forgot where, uh, I'm sorry, Absalom, who had all this beauty. Unlike Absalom, David behaved himself wisely. Amen. Look, look at, look at, look at First Samuel, eighteen and fourteen. Glory to God. And David did what? Behaved himself how? Wisely when? In all ways and what? The Lord was with him. Come on, go to fifteen. Just, just one more time, because I want you to see folks up top see it. Wherefore, when Saul, who was king, saw that he behaved himself wisely, what happened? He was afraid. He respected that boy. Now, you got to understand what was taking place. What was taking place? The girls were saying, Saul killed a thousand, but David killed a ten thousand. Saul killed a David. Ah! <laughs> now, you know what that's going to do to the king. Don't act like you don't know. You understand? And David said, He behaved himself. What? I know who the king is, and it ain't me. You understand? You understand? <laughs> Somebody visited our church one time. This was back years ago. Now old church. I was talking about it. Talk about ministry. And this person, young person, talking about they more knowing it than a pastor. Go start a church. Go on and start one. That's all I'm telling. I tell anybody, go start one. <laughs> go start one. You think it's cute now? Go start one. Go start one. You'll see why so many churches closed down. You'll see why so many pastors quit and not only quit but commit suicide. You understand? Families tore up, lose their life. Go start it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. See, David, what? Behaved himself wisely. What else would you need me to do, king? He wasn't on Facebook reading what folks saying about him. David, Saul killed him. Stop it. But David killed David, but David. Mm -mm, David saying, ain't getting in that. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Don't be walking around. You a carnal king if you walk around trying to find out what how folk feel about you. You need to know how the Lord feels about you. Come on, are y'all with me? Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. David did what? Behaved himself wisely. You're not on that job just to make money. You're the light of the world. You're the soul of the earth. You're not on that job just to make money. You own that job to represent the kingdom of God, the king of kings. You're a king who's represented the king. Glory to God. Ooh, ain't this good today, Lord Jesus. Ooh, this is kingship training right here. Glory to God. Because God said that for sure. Glory to God. Much more. Somebody say much more. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. All right? Now, If we're going to be that divine king, that godly king that God has called, we're going to have to be worshipers and warriors. You got to be both. Say worshipers and warriors. See, the, the reason is, let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. First Samuel 17, 45, and we'll look at 47, 45 and 47. All right. Then said David to the Philistine, this big giant, Goliath. Thou cometh with to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in what? The name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Verse 47. And in all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not 
with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and you in trouble today. Come on, thank God. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? See, Absalom flexing. Come on. See, if you're not a worshiper, y'all hear what I'm saying? How do I get corrected so many times? How do I keep pushing? Worship. Worshiping the Lord. Worshiping the Lord. Lord said, uh-uh, did you see that? Uh-uh, don't say that. Uh-uh, don't do that. Uh-uh, change that. Uh-uh, Merv. Uh-uh, I don't care about your intention. Yeah, uh-uh. Worship is what keep you humble. When I look at God and look at me, I have but one posture, humility. But if you're not a worshiper, you're going you're gonna to take that wisdom that God gave you. Are y'all hearing me? You're going to take that wisdom and say, I can do whatever I want to. You can. And you get the opportunity to suffer the consequence. And what happened to Solomon? He forgot where it come from. But if he'd been a worshiper of God, you're so busy worshiping them women and, and they God. He ain't really worshiping their God. He worshiping them. I get their God. I got them. I ain't going to get no help on that. All the men look. All the men looking down. Y'all move your feet. Look down here. Clean your shoe off right quickly. <laughs> Old school, what do they call it? Holy Ghost pimp. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. 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 God's still good. He's still good. He's still good. <laughs> you understand? Solomon, all that wisdom, forgot who gave it to him. Absalom, all that beauty. If if you're that beautiful, how are you not going to worship the one who gave you beauty for ashes? The oil of joy for morning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. Ah, oh, worship. I'm strong in the Lord. How do I know I'm not just strong? I'm strong in the Lord because I worship him. I worship the one that gave me the strength. David said, uh-uh. He said, you, bro, you're in trouble. It ain't because of the sword to spear. See, I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. Are y'all hearing this? Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Boy, there's something else right here today, ain't it? Ooh, 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 Lord Jesus. My God, my God. We're going to bless the Lord here in a minute. Praise the Lord. All right? David knew how. He was a man after God's heart. He was anointed, and the Holy Ghost came on him from that day. He knew how to stand tall. He was not swayed by what was in the hearts of the, of the people that were around. Wasn't that swayed? Amen. He didn't fall for all of the, the stuff the folk were saying about it. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. And he was a worshiper and a warrior. Praise the Lord. Ooh, and this is what I like about it right here. Lord Jesus. <laughs> when he's found guilty of sin, he is not concerned about his image. He's concerned about that relationship with him and God. See, because the king, the divine king ain't perfect either. We've been washed in the blood, but we're not perfect either. And so when we, when we, when we sin, not if we sin, but when we sin, we've got an advocate with the father. Come on, thank the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And if we confess our sin, he is faithful. Oh, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Not like King Saul. What? 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 You don't say what? 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 Delusional. In denial. You understand? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come on. Let me look at just a few verses in Psalm 51. Because that's what it's about. This after he now found out. He guilty. Boy, you guilty. Slept with that man's wife, took that man's wife, didn't murder. You might have got away if you just slept with his wife, but then you done had the man murdered. You're not getting away with that. You understand? And look what David says in Psalms 51. He says, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Are y'all hearing me? Wash me. Thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. I acknowledge my transgression. My sin is before thee. Against thee and thee only have I sinned. And done evil in thy sight. That thou might be justified when thou speakest. And clear 
out when thou judges. I was shaping in iniquity and in sin my mother uh, 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 conceived me. Behold, thou desires truth in the inward part, in the hidden part to make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness again that my bones are not broken. He said, hide not thy sin. Uh, hide thy face from my sin. Blot out my iniquity. This is what I like. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. He said, cast me not from your presence. Oh my God, take not the Holy Spirit away from me. I've seen a king who had the spirit and the spirit left. Lord, whatever you do, don't take your spirit away from me. I've seen a king who was so beautiful, who had it all and was flexing. But look what happened to him. The beauty killed him. Lord, I don't want beauty without you. Lord, I don't want power without you. Lord, I don't want nothing. Come on, praise him, saints. How many kings in this house? Get on your feet and give God a shout at this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're kings. Lift your hands. Pastor, how do you know they're kings? Because what Adam did is not even to be compared. The trespass, look at me for a minute. Look at put your hand down. The trespass, watch this. The trespass or its effects are not even worthy to be compared. He said, but most assuredly, God Almighty, say much more, much more surely those that receive the overflowing grace of God and those, oh my God, you receive the grace and then you also receive the free gift of righteousness. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to reign as kings. Lift your hands.